That's a great one. Yeah. I'm in this bar that we don't have in California. It's a bar in Texas. And Not there's... just a bar. It's the biggest bar in the world. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it there's 5,000 people Billy in this Bob. bar. Yes. Like, like we have a section in the bar that has 300 people. That's our own people. And then somewhere else in the bar, there's like a famous country music player on the stage. Yeah, Luke and then Ryan. Some... Luke Ryan is having a live concert right there. And we are once again, first class pimp VIP, yeah. but we are not participating in the concert. Yeah. So, so Dave Castro and Andy Stumpf, get into it in our private section with a U.S. Air Marshal. Do you want me to correct you if there's any part of the story that's wrong? I get good. Well, I, I think my mind's perfect. I, I dare right, well, it you. It wasn't Andy. Oh, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It was Who was it? No. Who He's was gone. it? gone. So no, it was Dave and Andy. No, it was not Andy. It was the branding guy. The Who's Marine. that? The Marine branding guy. Jimmy Letchford. Jimmy. Jimmy. No, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, 100%. No. Dude, I saw no. Jimmy's face. No. no. Jimmy, no. Jimmy and Dave Castro were in the middle of that thing with that guy. And I saw Jimmy. Hey, was Andy there? Tell me, was Andy, Andy there? Andy was there. Yes, Andy was okay. there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Andy was there. I'll compromise. Andy was, Andy was going to, Andy was going to defuse the situation first. Okay. And, um, and was not quite successful enough. And, um. And just so you know, right when it started, I looked at Greg and asked him if he was okay with it. And he was, you know, Greg just kind of snickered and said, yeah, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then Andy intervened, kind of got a little more heated. And oh, then okay, so Andy was, so, okay, so, so eventually, because when I went over there, I see Andy and Dave face to face, like this close with the U.S. Air Marshal, and the shit's getting fucking heated. So you do agree at one point Andy was in the mix? No doubt, no doubt. Okay, Andy okay. 100% tried to stop it, and what you saw was Dave explaining to Andy, no, it's okay if me and Jimmy smack this shit out of this guy. <laughs> uh, we've already worked it out. The guy has said enough about the Navy that it has to be done. And so uh, this guy's a big guy. This is a, this is a big guy. Uh, Dave, six foot. This guy's a little bigger than uh, Dave. And, and thick. This guy's thick. Guy, six foot, three and a half, six, four, 218 pounds. But and, could easily look like he's 240, but yeah. because he's a crossfitter, you know, you don't have that extra weight on. So it's getting heated. It looks like it's just about to break into a fight. And this there's a wall about 10 feet away that has a sign that says emergency exit. Correct. And it, and it obviously went to the and outside. Just so you know, this VIP area we're in is where you would bring in the big talent. And yes. you, that door is like the backstage door that you open it up and you're in this. You, you walk in, you're in Studio 51 in yes. New York City. You walk out that door, you didn't even know it was there, and it's just this alley right outside going, you know, yeah. some back back way there. So go ahead. So I see Travis walk over there, and I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm getting a front row seat to this shit. And I fucking <laughs> walk, I position myself behind some tables and shit. And I'm like, this is going to get crazy. Yeah. And Travis literally walks over there, the way I remember it, walks right in between Dave and Andy where there's no fucking room. I mean, these three guys are as close as they can be face to face to face. They might as well have been kissing. Travis walks in there and kind of just scoops the guy like uh, like he had a cape on, like a Batman cape or something, scoops the guy, walks with him 10 feet. The guy can't stop Travis. There's no tussle. There's no exchange of words. It's like the guy doesn't even know what's going on. It's like magic. He walks him to the uh, emergency exit door. He opens the door, kind of just gently pushes him out. And then pulls the door shut, and the guy was fucking. And gone. there's no handle on the outside door. <laughs> yeah, and the guy, and the guy's gone. I'm like Travis, how did you do that? He's like, I just put my weight on him a little bit. He goes, yeah. people don't like to mess with the big guy. Just put my weight on him a little bit, or some shit like that. I was like, how the fuck did you do that? Yeah, yeah that thing could have ended totally different. One good headbutt, and that would have never worked for CrossFit. <laughs> you mean like if you would have headbutted him? Yeah, no, if he would have headbutted me when oh, I was oh. like, yeah, walking oh. him out there. But that was a, that was a, and you know, here's a, you want to, let's set that story even a little further and know that that was my first day on the job. And I was really just auditioning for the job. Um, if you remember, and when I say the first day, it was the first trip. 
we had started off in um, in Memphis, Tennessee, 